So you mentioned this already, but go back to Police Academy and give me the lesson from Police Academy about getting off the X. Sure. Yeah. So this was something that, that we learned early on in our firearms training. So one of the things that I came from, uh, you know, a, a family that grew up in kind of the suburbs of New York. And, you know, we were not particularly outdoorsy and we certainly didn't have any guns or anything like that mm -hmm. when I was growing up. And so I didn't know anything about shooting when I went to the academy. So which was actually pretty good because they could teach me the way they wanted me to teach. They wanted to teach me the, the interesting thing about the way they taught us to shoot was that we don't stand still. We're always moving. So when we draw a weapon, we take a step. When we have to reload, we take another step. When there's a lull in the action, we take a step. We're always moving. The reason why we move comes back to this thing that I talked about earlier, which is the OODA loop. Mm -hmm. And OODA is a, an acronym. It is O-O-D-A. It stands for Observe, Orient, Decide, and Act. And it comes from, uh, you know, there was this guy, Colonel John Boyd, who was in the U.S. Air Force and flew uh, during the Korean War. And after that, he helped develop this concept of what is our decision process with this eye towards how do we win more dogfights? Mm -hmm. How do we, you know, how do we win these dogfights? And it really came down to agility, right? And so what, what happens is when we make a decision, the first thing we do is we observe what's going on, we orient ourselves, we decide, and then we act. As we receive new information midway through that process, our brain goes back to the beginning. You know, think about as you're, you know, waiting at a stop sign and you look right and left and nobody's coming and you're about to go and all of a sudden somebody, you catch somebody coming from the outside. You've got new information. Now you're back to the beginning again. Is it safe for me? You know, you had already made that decision, but you hadn't acted yet. And now you're going back. When we are able to change that information, we can slow down our competition. We send them signals that they have to reorient themselves to. And that's what we learned about getting off the X in the police academy, every time I move, now my opponent has to reorient themselves as to where I am, slows them down, buys me time. And that's, that's a big part of what we do. It's a big part of business too. And you know, a lot of times we fall into these traps where we become too predictable. We are standing on the X. I know I like Eddie Bauer clothes. I know that I should never buy Eddie Bauer clothes for less than 50 or 60% off because the next time, you know, almost every week, I'm going to get an offer like that. They are standing firmly on the X. I know that these offers are coming. And so that I'm able to, you know, time my purchases. Their competitors know that too. We, this happens to us a lot in business and in life. We become comfortable. We stand on that X. We don't move and we become predictable.